Hi, I'm Joanne Banco from Let's Go Sew. Today, I want to show you how to add a satin trim to a baby blanket. I don't know about you, but you know, I love making gifts and making baby gifts are probably one of the most precious things we can do um, to make and give away to people that we love. So this is a great one. It's easy to do, it's really beautiful, and you may even wanna consider making a few to have on hand. Um, and then, you know, one in pink, one in blue, maybe one in a neutral, um, like a, a minty color, and you're ready on the fly to be able to uh, give a gift at the last minute. Okay, so let's talk about the fabric first. I've got a very soft, plush fabric. You know, really, this reminds me of a baby kitten when you're handling it, so you know a baby's gonna love this. Babies love that satin trim, and using this technique to make perfect mitered corners on all four corners is what I wanna show you today. So let's talk first about prepping. Um, I've obviously got little mini blankets here. This one is, um, I believe, I have gotta remember my size, I believe it's 30 inches by 40 inches. Um, we'll have all that in the download for you. But I made that just the right size so that you could use a, a full package of the satin binding that you can find in a lot of colors and not have to worry about joining it. You could join it, but that makes it sometimes a little awkward to have a seam. So with this size baby blanket, it's a good size for an infant and you won't have to worry about piecing. But for my samples today, I just made little, little mini ones, which are actually kind of fun for toddlers to use because they like dragging these things around and babies love um, putting that satin against their face. You're gonna start by putting two layers together, wrong sides together, because this is a single face fabric. Now, you may wanna consider doing this with even quilted fabrics or uh, fleece type fabrics that are uh, you know, put together a different way. That's fine, you could still do the same trim technique, it'll work out really well. But I chose this and because I wanted it to look beautiful on both sides, I layered it wrong sides together. I made sure my nap was going in the same direction on both of them. And you're gonna to wanna to use long, preferably flat pins. You're gonna to need to pin that at least three inches from the edge. And you may even, on a bigger blanket like this, wanna do a double row of pins. You could stagger those pins so you have that really, really nice and secure so it doesn't, doesn't slip. All right, we're gonna head over to the machine. I'm gonna show you the steps for stitching this. Um, I have already on the machine a digital dual feed foot, and that foot is belt driven. That's gonna help ease that satin and keep all those layers together. I changed from my regular standard presser foot, and you really wanna use either a foot like that, or in place of that, you could use a walking foot, because you wanna keep those, um, those layers evenly feeding. So, let me show you how I started this. I've got a couple ends here already finished. You're gonna start each end at the beginning by turning under a half inch, and then I'm going to select a zigzag stitch. I like just a standard zigzag, and I like a width of three and a half, and I like a length of three and a half. That works really well for this technique. And then I'm gonna sew from that beginning point all the way to the end. So I've already done that step. Take a look at that. Now it's time to make that first mitered corner. So for the first mitered corner, what you wanna do is flip your blanket over to the back, open up your binding, and then literally just fold that corner. You see how that's folded there? And then we're gonna fold that front corner. So it almost automatically falls into place. Turn that over, and then that's all folded. Make sure that you snug this up all the way to the folded edge of the satin binding. And I should point out also that satin binding has uh, a wider side on the back side, so you wanna make sure that you have that just like that. All right, let me get that underneath the foot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the presser foot, and I'm gonna zigzag along that, take out the pins as I go, just catching that satin binding. And I'm gonna, again, go all the way to the end. So let me show you what I did here. I went all the way to the end. I mitered each corner the same. I have one last corner to finish. I would miter that one. And this last one is done just a little different. We fold in one inch, and then we fold our miter. We wrap that around. We would pin that in place and stitch down. And finish that side. We're gonna stop about six inches stitch down, and then zigzag each of those folds. 
Be sure to visit the website. We've got free instructions for you to show you exactly how to do all of these mitered corners.